Right, what do we have here then? Well, this is a pack of 10 step up boost converters from 2 volts to 24 volts or 5 volts to 28 volts and kindly supplied by High Let Go. Now, I haven't had a lot of luck with this sort of thing before now. I've bought a few from eBay and elsewhere and um, they tend not to boost very well at all, if at all. So I'm wondering if this is going to be a video where I can use the red pen of disgust at the end. So what I'll do is, I'll connect this one up. We've got a USB input or two pads on the side to connect a, a battery or whichever from 2 volts upwards. And then two pads on the end, on this end, for the output. And you adjust by turning the little screw terminal thing. And uh, that will allow you to go from the 2 volts to 24 volts with the battery, like I say. And that's the kind of thing I want to do, and perhaps with solar. So I'll get it connected up and see what we can do. Right, what we have here, it's late afternoon now, and uh, I've got four solar cell parts in a CD case, a DVD case, and they're putting out about 2.2 volts, something like that. Then I've got the circuit, one of these circuits, and I've adjusted it to 18 volts. So the idea is to see, you know, what sort of practical things can happen from a, well, tiny little CD case sized solar setup. Now across a 1 ohm resistor we have, well that'll be about 130, 100, well 200 <laughs> milliamps and that's in partial shade really now and as I say if, you, if the camera will do this you can see there's the sun so pretty low really. Anyway I'm going to connect something up to this now and see what it might power. I suppose the obvious is a 12 volt battery. Now this one is actually pretty poorly, it's at 6.23 but I'll connect it up anyway and see what happens. Alright, while it's doing that I'll show this. And uh, what it is, is 3.5 to 4 volts of the larger size behind a piece of broken glass. And I have one of these inverter type circuits, little converters in a similar way as the ones that I'm testing. And I've charged 12 volt car batteries with this for the last couple of years. It works really well. It's got wet on one panel with the last couple of days of rain. But um, who's that fella there? little grasshopper or something. Anyway, it's not important, enjoying the sun. So I expect the other system to work as well. This is my usual way, like I say, I've not got a 100 watt panel or anything like that, so these are the only large type of cells I've got. So they go into that uh, converter there and off to the car battery. Hello Kalo, are you inspecting? Right, I've had this running for the past few minutes and you can see the way that the sun's not really hitting it now. But uh, anyway, anything above that 6 point whatever would be a win, wouldn't it? So I'll disconnect the charge. There we are. 8.3 just from those few minutes and it's not coming down very fast either. So I'd call that a win as well and I'll uh, do some more experiments with this. Perhaps try and get this battery up to a decent voltage. But uh, there we are. It does work. So we've basically got 2 volts panel charging a 12 volt battery. So what do we have here? Well it's a 10 pack of high let go 2 amp DC to DC boost step up converters. They work from 2 volts to 24 volts or 5 volts to 28 volts using the micro USB input. They're $8.49 with free shipping in the USA with Amazon Prime or orders over $25. And I don't think I'm going to be able to use the red pen of disgust. I like them. They work. And that's a bit of a change too for these little converters. So, there we go. A tick from me. Okay, thanks for watching.